And it's John Clellan's sandwich between the BMW M3s of Kurt Luby and Jeff Allen. There they go, Luby leading the class. Clellan still second, number 50. Jeff Allen still third. Woodcote at the end of the lap. Luby leads the two litres. Not by very much, though. Clellan is there, and so is Allen. And here's the Swedish woman driver, Netan Lindgren, and Jerry Mann has lost it. Jerry's certainly having an exciting 1990, one way and another. Now, here's a replay from Jerry's point of view. Down through the gears. And it's goodbye, Mum. He's lost it. Restart. Back into the race. And now, Jerry's fighting for last place with John Clark's BMW. Clark on the right. Now we're with Marnie again, down to Cops. Past him goes John Clark, so Jerry Marnie is last now. Out of Cops, that engine sounds rough. Up towards Maggots. And there goes Lawrence Bristow, lapping the BMWs. What a difference in performance, but what a difference in horsepower too. Brown Beckett's on towards Chapel. Jerry Marnie chasing John Clark. There's a blue flag waving there. Down the hangar straight, Harvey third and Bristow fourth in the two blue Sierras are lapping tailenders, and so is Graham Good, fifth in the black Sierra. In car again with Jerry Marnie, Clark ahead, into Stowe. Out of it, Clark's lost it. Is Marnie going to hit him? Mercifully, no. Clark goes into the sand trap. Rear wheel spinning, he won't get out. John Clark's race is over. No damage, though. Now, that's not the chicken flag that's going out, it's the naughty boy flag for breaking the rules, and Andy Rouse is getting it, and I haven't the faintest idea why. But Andy Rouse, number one, blazes on, still second behind Rob Gravitt. Now, there is Rouse, still Tim Harvey third, and there's still no quarter amongst the two-litre leaders. Luby leading. Cleland and Allen absolutely together. Allen trying for second. Out of chapel, down the hangar straight. Look how close they are. There's virtually nothing in it in terms of performance. BMW, Luby. Vauxhall, Cleland. BMW, Allen. First, second and third in the two-litre class. And that's Rob Gravitz. The race leader is on his last lap. He is almost a lap ahead of the battling two litres. Rob on his way to his fourth successive win, three seconds ahead of Andy Rouse, a fastest lap at 110.2 miles an hour. But there's still a lap to go for the two litre cars. The positions could still change. Coming up to Bridge now. Alum is trying for second past John Cleland. Here they come, Rob Gravitt watching from behind. Only a few hundred yards for him to go now, but it's Luby leading still. Cleland second in the two-litre class. Alum third, over the line they're going to go, lap to go. Rob Gravitt, though, wins round six for Trackstar. That is his fourth successive win, and he's delighted. On go the two litres, but overall it's second for Andy Rouse, third for Tim Harvey, fourth Lawrence Bristow, fifth Graham Good, and sixth Mike Smith. But who is going to win the two litre class? It's going to be Kurt Luby, John Cleland second, Jeff Allen third. Kurt's second class win for BMW, and one he can be truly proud of with a new two litre lap record at 103 miles an hour.